right, so this is this is Amazing Grace by Phil Wickham. So the chords, the chords and the chord progression are C, um, F, A minor, G, and then at least for the verse, you go back to a little bit of F, okay? And then uh, the chord progression is the same for the chorus. C, and then F, and then A minor, G, and then back to C. Um, so for the verse, you, I'll show you the rhythm, and instead of just playing the chords kind of open like this, you kind of do the thing where you, you put, you use this part of your hand to kind of muffle the sound, so it's more like a, instead of this, you wanna, I forgot what they call it, but you're muffling the sound. Um, but I'll give you a taste of the verse. Um, so again, it's C, F, A minor, G, and then there's like a little bit of F at the end. You'll see what I'm talking about. So it's like... Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? say out the chords okay for the verse C F A minor G then F again this is amazing grace and then you go back to C for the chorus so that's the verse so now for the chorus you don't do the muffling anymore you just let it ride you just let it ride open same strumming pattern but you just let it ride and it's the same chord progression um, so I'll, I'll sing and play with it and then I'll call out the chords the second time around so this is amazing great this is unfailing Same chord progression for the chorus. You don't do that little F thing at the end. So I'll, I'll play the chorus again. This time, instead of singing the lyrics, I'll just sing out the chords. So, this is amazing grace. And then you start with C. Then you go to F. Pretty much the same chord progression just on the verse you're muffling it and then you have the little f part added at the end and then on the chorus you just let it ride and, and no f in between okay so that's this is amazing grace <laughs>